hello everyone welcome to part 92 of laravel 10 series in which we are getting the e-commerce website and in this video we are going to work on product filter once again and this time we are going to work on these products filter via ajax so the sorting filters we have added in last video you can see that we have added with the refresh of page in the last video and this video we are going to add the filters with the, without refresh of page via ajax okay so uh, once again like uh, i have told you i have explained you in the last video as well that uh, uh, i will provide you one uh, js script that will really help you for adding this uh, uh, filters uh, in a easy way okay in a very easy way just in five ten minutes uh, you can able to integrate uh, these filter via ajax okay so for getting these filters uh, integrator we require one js file filters.js file that you can download after login into the sidemakers template okay uh, see you just require to go uh, open this website sidemakers.in you can click on download and you can go down and in at the bottom you can see download uh, See at the bottom you can see download Ajax products filter script for website. Okay, so you are just required to log into download. You if you will click on login to download, then you can see the many options are there. If you are already a member, then you can simply log in. Okay, if you are a basic member or if you are an advanced or any other member, you can simply log in and can download. And if you are not a member, then you can simply go to your membership. Uh, after clicking on any of the link you can simply buy the membership there are many ways to buy the membership many uh, see here at the reasonable price okay and also uh, if you can't join as a member then you can get this script free of cost with the earlier steps like uh, you can get the template free for the template those person who got the template free can also download the script by login into the username uh, by by uh, because all already i have provided the username and password they can log in with the same username and password and can download the script uh, but those who are still uh, need to uh, uh, see uh, get the username and password can follow these steps once again okay you can uh, simply open youtube.com stack developers and here uh, you can go uh, in the community tab you are just required to open this community okay so after clicking on this one here you can see at the top okay so you just require to follow these five simple steps that will just take the five minutes of your time give five star rating at here okay you just open this one and please rate uh, five star and uh, and give some good review okay i i don't think that it will take more than one minute of your time okay so just you can simply open give the five star rating and give your review and then post it uh, this is the first step and the second step is uh, please share uh, this uh, uh, post in your uh, facebook timeline this simple post in your facebook timeline uh see you can also share any of my video in your in your facebook timeline as well okay so the third one is you can simply like this facebook page and you can simply join this facebook group free of course and then like and comment on my laravel 10 video see open this video and please like and comment okay so these are the simple steps and then you can email to the stack developers to the rate of gmail.com uh, by providing uh, its screenshot and links that you have done these steps and to get the uh, to get the credentials to download not only you can download the template you can all download able to download this script and many other scripts free of course that will help you in your laravel e-commerce website and other websites as well okay so uh, it is really beneficial for you it is beneficial for me as well okay so after getting this username and password you can simply log in okay so after login you can click on download and then this link will get enabled you can simply click here to download and then just in few seconds this script will get downloaded and you can just uh, see uh, see this filters.js copy the script and put it in your project folder as you dogs this is my project 10 okay i will just copy and put it in my public uh, front uh, js and i'm going to put it here okay filters.js and add it in your layout.bread.file 
where we have also added last video custom.js and here this script also we are going to add okay so like we have added the custom now we are going to add the filters.js i'm just simply copy this one to save the time and we'll add it here and here i am going to add the filters okay and here i'm just will add the filters.js script i have added in my layout.blade.php file okay so very simple now just open listing.blade.php file for uh, now we are going to uh, see uh, make sure like short flux is fine here uh, make sure everything is fine uh, yeah just only thing we need to add one class here and we are going to add here the get sort class okay nothing else simple get sort class we are going to add because once you will open this file filters.js file you can able to see the many uh, jquery functions are here in that one of the function is also uh, the uh, this one get sort okay we can simply search here and get sort function is also there okay so that will come into play uh, for uh, for working of this one via ajax okay so like you will just add this one get sort after adding this one uh, uh, just uh, go down and here we will add one id also uh, id we are going to add because we want to reload this ajax prox listing via ajax okay that's why we have given its name as ajax prox listing okay so we want to reload and one id we are going to assign it like we are going to assign the append uh, append products okay so this is the id we will assign append products and this same id uh, we have used here as well you can see we have used here as well to reload the products via ajax okay so uh, this one we will just uh, add it here and now uh, simply open one more thing we are going to do here uh, simply open ajax product listing and move this pagination uh, from here uh, to that page okay we will not add it here we will just remove it from here and we are going to add it at the bottom before uh, end for it after end for it sorry uh, after end for it we are going to add this one uh, here because this one we have moved because we want to refresh it with the uh, with the filter as well okay so that's why we have moved it here and one more condition we are going to add like uh, uh, if uh, there is this sort like uh, if there is a sort option get selector if uh, is set is set dollar request we are going to now make it like dollar request in dollar request sort option get selector so in that case uh, see I'm going to give sorry I'm going to add the condition after this one okay. uh, like I'm going to cut it from here and we'll add it here okay so like uh, and else here and then i'm going to use here and if like this okay so here we are going to add uh, uh here we are going to add like category i'm going to copy the same one here and then we'll make changes see here the sort option we want to send it as well and i'm going to add it like uh, appends uh sort so that we are using uh, here dollar request sort because we want to send this sort option with all the uh, with the paging also so that's why we have done this change that's it uh, make sure that this one is correct this one is not correct uh, so we are going to close it as well now it's fine okay so now uh, so here uh, we'll also open the prox controller and here one change we are required to do here we are going to add now request dollar request okay and uh, here instead of dollar get we are going to use here uh, request now uh, request like this and other than this uh, 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 yeah we are going to now add the condition here like uh, if the uh, request is in ajax like if dollar request is coming in ajax okay then in this case uh, this one will come in else 
so we are going to put this one return in else okay and in ajax uh, what we are going to do we are going to use return response json and like this okay and here we are going to use here view okay. this is the syntax that you need to learn spring uh, okay so here uh, we are going to load in ajax we are going to load this one front dot products dot ajax products listing ajax products listing okay ajax Oops. listing we are going to load this page contact okay and here uh, we are going to add category details as well as category products as well as url okay uh, same that we are uh, uh, using here as well okay so in, in case of ajax we are going to do it like this to load this page with all the all these option because we want to load this one in ajax as well okay so let's try now and uh, now we are going here i'm going to refresh this page i'm going to remove uh, see there is some, some syntax error here in this one so we need to see what is the syntax error here uh, uh, here uh, we need to make sure that there is no syntax error uh, json that we have started the square bracket here okay because this is bit complex so that's why and url okay so this one is not required here and now it seems to be fine let's see yeah now it seems to be fine okay so now this time i'm going to remove this one and we will try with this ajax filters and that will work without the refresh of page let's see if i go to the lowest price and here i'm going to close this one first and going to see with the lowest price i'm going to check with the lowest price and you can see the lowest price is working fine and only this part is, is updating not the complete and here you can see this one is also coming at the top okay so one thing uh, sorry sorry one thing i think uh, our another script is working so that's why custom.js so we need to uh, remove this one okay so i'm thinking that something is wrong it seems to be that complete page get refreshed so now we are going to refresh it uh, properly okay uh, you may require to delete the cache as well okay so now i'm going to try once again and i'm going to click on lowest price and this time nothing is happening so it means some issue somewhere so I'm going to inspect here, we'll open the inspect here and we'll see if there is any issue anywhere uh, that is uh, creating the problem for us. Okay, so once again, I'm going to try like I'm going to click on lowest price. Yes, some issue is there. I'm going to see. Okay, so something we are required to add here in the products controller view option. Uh, we are required to add. Okay, so see we can open any of the link and uh, easily. Uh, we can able to found this view option okay this one so this view option we are going to add it uh, here in our products controller and i'm going to add it anywhere at the top okay so now i'm going to try once again uh, without refresh and let's see if it will work fine highest price and now see it seems to be working fine here you can see without the refresh of page uh, see we are changing the price uh, click on lowest price see it's working fine lowest price then highest price okay so it is working fine with all the products like discounted products see all products uh, will come see this is working without the refresh of page via ajax okay you can see our filters are working now and this one is also changing at the top you can see in the address bar as well it is changing at the top and it is also changing products are also updating without the refresh of page okay so page is not getting refreshed okay so that is the main advantage of this one only thing that is uh, updating this one this uh, uh, this one is updating and this one this products will updating and the page is not refreshing otherwise if you will refresh the page you can see 
the complete page gets refreshed then see how much time it will take see load option also come but here if you will refresh nothing will happen just this part will uh, reload just these products will get reload okay so like this you can uh, see take these steps uh, and you can make this filter this sort of option in a jax okay and now this left sidebar option we are going to start working on this option in the next video okay we will start with the basic color option in the next video and then one by one we are going to work on all the filters okay so please stay tuned for the next video and once again i want you to at least join as a basic member to get access to all the videos and all the scripts okay uh, this fees is very very low okay if you can afford the internet connection then you can just afford uh, see just spend few of your dollars uh, in this and you can gain lot of knowledge okay so other way is to uh, get uh, just to uh, take those five simple steps that five minute of task to get this uh, js filter js that is necessary okay and along with that you will get this pamphlet free as well okay then uh, if you have any uh, any inquiry you can surely connect me that's all for now have a nice time goodbye